So I might have gone crazy at Farfetch. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I've got a pretty large unboxing from Farfetch. I mean it doesn't even fit in the entire frame. That's ridiculous. What's up everybody, I'm Box Seth. Box Fowler. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell down below if you haven't yet. And also make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at Real Seth Fowler. And as you probably could have guessed, today's video is sponsored by Farfetch. And I want to give them a huge thank you for sponsoring today's video because they've been a long time supporter of the channel and it really means a lot. And I really love what they do. If you haven't checked out Farfetch yet, what are you doing? It's an awesome place to go to pick up high end and designer goods. In fact, I think it actually has the best selection that I've ever seen. And the reason for that is because when you shop Farfetch, you're actually shopping from boutiques all over the world. So unlike other places that only have a warehouse in one place, Farfetch actually aggregates all the inventory from a ton of different stores across the world so you can make sure that you're finding the best price on the best thing. And personally, what I love about Farfetch and their business practices is that they're actually helping smaller boutiques who, in this time of uncertainty, aren't able to have people in their store by giving them an online storefront and giving them a lot of visibility so these stores can still sell their products. Now obviously, I'm a sneaker channel so you know that a couple of these boxes are going to be sneakers but I am actually trying to revamp my wardrobe a little bit because I don't usually buy a lot of clothes most of my money goes towards shoes I'm sad to say so uh, there are some pieces in here that I'm really excited about because I can finally wear some different clothes. But one of the things that I love the most about Farfetch is that they have an excellent return policy. So if I open up one of these boxes and the piece of clothing that I ordered just doesn't fit, I have like 14 days to return it and they actually have a courier come and pick it up from me rather than me having to drop it off at a UPS store or something like that. And not only that, that return policy also extends to sneakers. So if you get one of these sneakers in the mail, you try it on, you realize it doesn't fit, you can return it. And as you probably could have guessed, the sneakers that I bought in today's video, I bought from Stadium Goods, which was recently a acquired by Farfetch, so they're all really the same company. Even though these sneakers are consigned, I can still return them because I bought them through Farfetch. They have an excellent selection of crazy sneakers and all their sneakers that they sell are guaranteed to be authentic because they have real people checking over the sneakers themselves. So whether you're looking for the craziest new sneaker grails or you're trying to grab a dope new designer outfit, like maybe something from Balenciaga, you can grab them at Farfetch. So if you'd like to check out Farfetch for yourself, make sure to click the link in the description below and use my code 10 ffseth for 10% off your first purchase, which honestly is a pretty crazy deal, so I definitely recommend checking it out. So once again, huge thank you to Farfetch for sponsoring today's video. Without further ado, let's bust into some boxes. So this first package is pretty small. I'm assuming it's one of the uh, the clothing items that I ordered. And let me grab my grandma's scissors. Every time you go to like a grandmother's house or like any person over the age of 60, they usually have a pair of these exact scissors, like the little like, I don't know why it's done like this, but that kind of curve and then this sort of like, pinkish purplish handle. So let's pop the uh, the tape off of this. I don't even know if I'm opening this right. Oh, I'm stupid. I didn't even need the scissors. It's got one of those uh, pull tab things. Here we go. There we go, perfect. I didn't need the scissors. Nice, okay, so inside this box we have got, there we go, my receipt. You've got this very nice Farfetch recycled packaging that you can reseal if you'd like. I'm assuming if you're returning the thing inside. And then inside the package, we have got the thing itself. Now I actually got this thing on sale, which was great. I don't know what the price was, but it was like significantly marked down. Um, so I was really stoked on this. Ooh, look at this. So this is a uh, Paul Shark by Greg Lauren flannel, but it's kind of a cool flannel because it's oversized and it's like two different shirts sewn together. Now I don't think it's actually two shirts sewn together, but it's two different types of flannel sewn together, which is pretty sick. And then the bottom is actually kind of like raw. You've got a raw bottom right there. I don't know if that's what it's called, but that's why I think it's not hemmed. It's not seamed. I don't know much about clothing, I'm gonna be real with you guys. So let me unbutton it, see how it fits. Because it's oversized, I went down to size, I went down to a medium because I didn't want something that was too oversized. Like, this flannel that I'm wearing is about as oversized as I want. And online it seemed like this was like a pretty, pretty oversized thing. So let me, uh, let me switch out. Look at that. Very nice. Okay, it's definitely, definitely oversized. <laughs> Which you know what means that I'm definitely glad I went down a size because if I had grabbed a large instead of a medium it would have been way too big. So let me give you guys a quick turnaround of what this looks like. Looking very nice. Nice little oversized flannel. Now I'm assuming if I wanted to I could fold up this guy right here so that it wouldn't be like hanging over my hands. But that's obviously part of the style. So I don't know. Dude I'm not like a 
like a fashion wizard. I, that's not what you call them. I'm not like Jacob Starr, and uh, I'm not great with um, like sort of more uh, fashion forward stuff. So this is new for me, so I'm just gonna go with it. It's definitely a cool, like, pretty light piece. So it's something that I can rock like in the spring, maybe even the summer if I wanted to. But no, I really like it a lot. And I love the fact that it's two different kinds of flannel. I think that's really sick. And actually, if you wanna grab this for yourself, there will be a link in the description below if you wanna check it out. It's a really awesome piece, and I'm stoked to have it. And I'll probably be rocking it in more videos in the very near future, just like the, uh, the BBC flannel that I also bought off Farfetch that I wear in pretty much every video. <laughs> so this next thing is also a piece of clothing. Uh, I lost my scissors. I don't know where they went. Actually, no, for real. Where did they go? <laughs> this always happens. Okay, here we go. I found it. Let's cut the top. Oh, it's, it's another pull tab. I see. Okay. Definitely easier to use than a non-pull tab, but I'm just terrible with pull tabs. Oh, man, I'm getting good at that. I'm getting real good at that. Okay, here we go. Some more recycled far-fetched packaging. And then inside this box, we have got something from El Raldo. I think is the name of the boutique that I bought it from. There we go. Oh man, I'm stoked on this. Okay, so this is a really sick hoodie. And uh, I've never had this brand before, but I'm really stoked to rock it. So, here we go. Let me give you guys that first look. So this is a Pleasures embroidered hoodie. And they actually embroidered the logo underneath the uh, the pocket, which I think is a really sick touch. Should I throw this on too? I feel like I should. Should I throw this on on top of the flannel so you get that nice layering effect in the bottom? I'm gonna do that too. I'm gonna do that too. I'm trying to be fashion-y. That's not a word. How's that fit working for you? Nice, right? Yo, this is actually really sick. Look at that, that is a nice fit. I dig that. I'm wearing sweatpants, so it's not like the greatest look in the world, but if you guys would like to see a full fit, I will post a picture on Instagram. Make sure to follow me at Fowler. It will be coming soon. But okay, and the next thing is, well, a pair of sneakers, as you can probably tell from the box. So let me pull out my scissors again, cut the top of this guy. And if you guys wanna leave any guesses as to what these could be in the comment section down below, make sure not to cheat. Don't fast forward ahead, just drop those guesses. And actually for the second pair of sneakers too, because I ordered two pairs of sneakers. So let me know what you guys think they are. I didn't cut the top yet, so of course it's not gonna open. <laughs> there we go. So first thing inside the box, we've got the receipt, throw that off to the side. And then we've also got a Nike SB box. Whew. I'm not like a huge SB collector, but I do enjoy a nice SB. And this is one that I've been trying to grab for a minute, and I finally just pulled the trigger, and I'm so happy I did. So. This box is the standard newer Nike SB box, a very colorful box. I think it was introduced back in 2019, 2020, I think. I'm not sure. But this pair is from Stadium Goods. And I guess I should just stop teasing you guys and open it up. So here we go. Well, I can't really see it. <laughs> there you go. So this is the Concepts Nike Dunk High Turducken. And uh, this is a pair that came in both a special box variant and a standard box variant, which I have right here. And I think it's awesome. I've been really blown away by both Concepts and also Bodega's uh, Nike Dunk High collaborations. I think they both killed it. And this one is such a nice looking shoe. Now one thing I am noticing, seeing the shoe for the first time, is actually the, um, the midfoot panel. I thought this was gonna be some sort of fur, but it's actually some sort of like leather that's been kind of cut and then I guess pulled up, I'm not sure exactly how to describe that. It gives it kind of a fur look or a feather look, but it's really just very thin leather or plastic or something like that. I'm not a huge fan of that, I'm gonna be honest. I don't love uh, furry sneakers, and this actually doesn't really have any fur on it, even though I thought that was fur initially. It probably won't shed like a lot of those other fur sneakers, so I'm actually pretty happy about that. But uh, I love the colorway of this shoe. It's obviously the Turducken Dunk, so it's got sort of turkey, duck, what else goes in a turducken? Turkey, duck, kin. Chicken, that's what it is. Turkey, duck, chicken. So uh, I'm assuming all the different textures on this shoe are inspired by turkeys, ducks, and chickens. I think um, the special box that it came in had like this really cool stove on it. I don't know, it's an awesome sneaker. I love all the different colors on this shoe. I love this sort of like iridescent tongue. It comes in sort of a green that sort of fades to purple. That's awesome. And the sock liner, I didn't even notice looked like this. So the sock liner is white leather, but it's got this printing of ducks flying around, mallards it looks like, and there's uh, some, some trees, almost like the printing on the inside of a book. And then all the different brown materials on the shoe seem to be like furry, but not really furry. They're more like teddy bear fur. 
which I'm actually happy about. And of course, I also love the color scheme. On the lateral side of the shoe, you've got this blue iridescent swoosh. On the medial side, you've got this green orange one or green brown one, same color that's on the tongue. They also give you a set of yellow laces, which I may actually switch out because I think that's a really nice look. And then the midsole and the outsole come in a tonal tan and sort of a salmon pink color. I think it's an incredible collaboration. I think Concepts knocked it out of the park with this shoe. And there's also some nubuck on the toe, which I didn't even notice till just now. But man, this is a wild looking shoe. And even on the back, you've got where the, the two Nike swooshes come together. So the blue one on the outside and the green one on the inside. Even that detail, such a nice look. Concepts killed it. They killed it. They absolutely killed it. And I wish I had bought this closer to uh, release because I would have reviewed these. But now because it's been like three or four months, everyone has their pairs. Everyone knows everything there is to know about this shoe. So this is just a personal pickup for me. This is probably the only video that these shoes are going to get unless you guys want to see another one. But uh, yeah, total fire. Absolutely killed it. But now we're going to move into the final package. And this one, I think I'm excited for it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a shoe that I never thought that I would buy, but the more I thought about it, and the more I thought about what I was going to do to this shoe, the more I was like, yeah, you know what? I should just go for it. So inside this box, we've obviously got a pretty large retail package. It's actually the first of these kinds of sneakers that I've ever owned. Um, it's a Nike shoe but it's like a collab. And there's actually been some hype around this collab recently because of a newer version of this collab coming out sometime in the near future. So that's another reason why I picked this up because I thought it was kind of good timing. So let me pop the top on this and show you guys the box inside. So inside the main box, we've got a second box and you guys can probably already tell what it is just because you could read. But again, bought this from Stadium Goods. This is a just ridiculously sized box, I've gotta say. So as you can tell from the top of the box, this is the Mars Yard Overshoe by Tom Sachs from 2018. And I don't know if you guys can picture what the shoe is, but I'm about to show you guys in a second. Pull out the receipt. Look at that paper inside the box too. It's just a bunch of different knots. That's actually pretty cool. Some nice knowledge to throw at you as well. And then inside, <laughs> Never thought I was gonna buy this shoe, but I did it. I'm happy I did it. So here we go, the Tom Sachs Mars Yard Overshoe. This is a very wild sneaker, to say the least. And it comes with an extra set of insoles too. Actually, are these just not in the shoe? I'm not sure. No, they give you cork insoles, so they give you a set of regular insoles as well. It's kind of nice. So the insoles come with some cool printing on them. Uh, you've got something that says plutonium and the different protons and electrons in plutonium. You've got uh, some other knowledge, like our solar system, <laughs> and how to tie some knots. It's cool, I guess. And then you've got the shoes themselves. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys. If, uh, if I wasn't gonna do what I was gonna do to these shoes, I probably wouldn't have got them, to be real. Like, these are, these are moon boots in the truest sense of the word. These are, these are Mars Yard Over shoes. But what's cool about these shoes is that not only are these waterproof boots, or I guess sneaker boot things, if you actually fold down this waterproof panel right here, you've actually got a Nike Mars Yard 2.0 or maybe 1.0 underneath, which you guys may or may not be able to see right there. So what I plan to do with this sneaker is to actually cut off this white panel here and expose the Mars Yard underneath. And that's something that's been done a couple times before. Like it's a pretty common customization for people who bought this shoe. And I just think when all that's cut off and if I leave the straps, and of course you have to stick with this blue part on the midsole because it's actually attached to the shoe. Um, it looks incredible. And I actually think it's one of my favorite Tom Sachs looks. So this is actually a customization that I've been meaning to do to this shoe for a while. And I will be dropping a video probably next week of me doing that. But I'm so stoked because this is gonna be such a fun custom and uh, I just I'm kind of nervous because I did spend like a good amount of money on these shoes but realistically it's gonna look way better like way better like this look is tight but man the shoes underneath are just straight straight fire and I'm not kidding it's a straight up Tom Sachs Mars Yard 2.0 underneath so I'm just excited to see it I'm excited to have like a really cool pair of customs in my collection I used to have a bunch of customs because I used to customize sneakers but Man, I'm just really stoked on cutting these shoes up. Let me know in the comment section down below if this is something that you guys would ever be willing to do. I can understand if you wouldn't be, but for me personally, I'm hype on it. And honestly, I kind of wish I had bought these sooner, but uh, now I got them. So now they're in my collection, and now I'm gonna do this crazy custom. You know what, I will do an on foot of these before I uh, cut them up, just to show you guys what they actually look like on foot. So stay tuned for that video, coming up soon. But let me grab the other pair of sneakers that we got, the Turduckins, and of course I'm rocking the clothes that I bought. You've got the Pleasures hoodie, which now has some cardboard on it, and then also the, uh, the mismatched flannel underneath. 
Super sick collection of stuff that I got. I'm just so stoked on all of it. Huge thank you to Farfetch for sponsoring today's video. If you guys would like to check out Farfetch for yourself and grab any of the awesome stuff that I grabbed in today's video, make sure to click the links in the description below and use my code 10FFSETH for 10% off your first purchase. It's definitely worth doing. Of course, there are some exclusions, but a lot of stuff, like pretty much everything that we unbox in the video, I think you can get 10% off of. So definitely worth checking out. But now I would love to know your thoughts on everything that we unbox in today's video so make sure to let me know in the comment section down below and as always thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and I'll see you all in the next one